don't worry the title the thumbnail is not clickbait because even i myself i was shocked when i was doing the research for this video every year a special kind of festival is being celebrated a wooden dick festival now that is just wrong and intolerant okay because it actually has a name to them it's called the kanamara matsuri the festival has been in existence since the 17th century and is very sacred to the Japanese. It's a very big deal. It is so sacred that early April in Kawasaki, Japan is set aside for the Kanamara Matsuri or otherwise called the Festival of the Steel Palace, in which a hundred thousand people come here to celebrate one thing, which is the male organ. I showed this to my friend and they were like, The pink penis you see right now is a symbol for the LGBTQ group in Japan. And honestly, I didn't expect that group to also be in Japan. I didn't expect the LGBTQ to also be in Japan. It's as if they are just everywhere, you know? But honestly, I ain't being a bigot. I'm just saying, do you think, you watching this video, do you think somewhere like Japan with all the cultures, traditions that is far away from the West will be affiliated with gays and um, less bobos? But ain't hitting though, I'm just saying. It was just surprising to me. Maybe I'm just ignorant. Now, when I saw this festival, especially this part, hey, I, love I was so disturbed. But you have to learn to understand and respect people's ideals and beliefs, even if it means riding a dick. So I did a little research and I saw a folklore, uh, a legend that is behind the establishment of this festival behind the establishment of the Kanamara Matsui now this legend holds that a jealous red-faced demon hid in the vagina of a goddess and when the first suitor came to you know have um, you know now the jealous demon beat it off the penis of that very unfortunate person off now instead of this goddess to warn the next suitor which is the second suitor she left him and he got his penis beat off as well okay she should have at least won the second one but it looks like she learned from her mistake and warned the next person he warned the next person Finally, a third and a more determined suitor, a blacksmith in fact, created an iron palace or iron coat and wrapped it around his arm. Um, you know that what? And when the demon came to bite his um, penis off, it broke the demon's teeth. Then the man won over the beautiful woman. And they lived happily ever after but i still feel it's a very dangerous thing to you know have sex with a woman with an iron dick i still feel it's very dangerous but history forgot to you know see what happened next so they live happily ever after the blacksmith the goddess and the iron dick now please promise me you won't skip for the next sec 10 seconds i have something to tell you and don't worry it's not the classic and cliche please subscribe please like please comment no okay we are posting shocking videos like this videos that are remotely interesting to us and also be remotely interesting to you so please if you don't want to miss out on it then i have another shocking video for you do you know that Japan also celebrates a literal naked festival? If you are curious, I left a link to the video in the comments pinned above.